grows in popularity each year, and you want to make sure you go hungry. This is a video from last year's Taste of Indy. And this year's event gets underway tomorrow. Our Matt McCutcheon live with what kind of food that you can expect. A good morning to you, Matt. Good morning. We're looking at nearly three dozen food options right here. This is just a small offering from many different restaurants. This is Thai jasmine rice from the Thai orchard in Indianapolis as well. I wish you could smell that. It's very good. You can smell some ginger on there as well. But we're here in the kitchens at Radizio Grill here in Carmel with Bruno, who is joining us this morning. Good morning to you. Let's talk. We've got sort of the, uh, the raw meat here this morning, but this is quickly going to transform, as you mentioned, into one of your best-selling dishes that you'll be offering at Taste of Indy. Tell us about it. Yes, man, we have over 15 items in our grill. This is one of the most popular. It's one of, we're going to do at the Taste of India. That's our picanha. It's one of the most popular here and in Brazil as well. And then Marco is showing them how we do. We, we cut and then we skewer it. And then after that, we show we salt. So that salt will seal the juice inside the, the beef. So that's going to be a very tender. Then after that, our gauchos are go, they go around and serve. Uh, the taste of India, we're going to do smaller skewers, of course, of that because we don't have a this size of the grill right. there. Because this grill is pretty massive. It can accommodate a lot of cooks, if you will. Yes. And you've got one on there right now that's about to come out. And like you mentioned, this is a very popular item that you offer here at your Carmel location, but you're also be offering taste of it. Yes. So after after we skewer, our kitchen staff is going to be skewering it. When it's time to serve, our grill master will just salt, like I said, to seal, to seal that juice. The salt has that also that job of sealing the beef, and then it goes straight to the grill. On the skewer rack, just like that. You can see them. We've got the one finish right there. We want to yeah. go ahead and pull that one off and, and give out a show as the finished product you can enjoy. That, when it's time to to go to the table, our gauchos are going to take to the gas. They're going to cut from the gas for the gas at the table. Just like that. Just take like that, that. The gas will pick. And as you know, it's an all you can eat concept, so they keep coming around. Julia, Julia table and Chuck, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry just looking at that. I know you guys have the option of having some cake here this morning. Uh, I'm trying to watch my sugar, so I'll let you do the taste testing for this. This is from La Marina what? Gia, a uh, Mexican restaurant in Indianapolis as well that will also be there. I okay. know, I know. I'm trying to be wholesome. You know, I've got a lot of eating here yeah. this holiday weekend in the taste Matt, of Indy. So. What are these? Uh, there are two different types of cake. This is, a, I believe, a chocolate leche cake, I was told. Oh, it's like a ding dong. Kind of a, a white it's cake. Really with, uh, it tastes like a ding dong. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the other one, man? I know I, I I messed that up. This is the this is the chocolate uh, leche one I believe, and this is the uh, the white cake. Uh, it's not oh. tiramisu. I'm not quite sure what that is, uh, oh. but I heard it's really okay, good. Julie's making a mess on the desk. Mm -hmm. We've got more information about ticket prices in this as well. Well, well thank you for sharing. Is there Kahlua in this, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta go. Thank you, pal. Enjoy.